As it turns out, the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini is not such a mini phone after all, and it did perform quite well. So, without further ado, I'm Anton Dinoid, this is Pocket Now, and you're watching the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini review. Let's go check it out. Samsung is not only overusing its materials and design, but with its recent devices like the Galaxy S4 Active, Galaxy S4 Zoom, the Galaxy S4 Mini, which we're currently reviewing, it is also reusing and heavily relying on the Galaxy S brand, in this case, this year's flagship, the S4. We've reviewed several versions of the Samsung Galaxy S4 and we even submerged the Galaxy S4 Active, so make sure to read those reviews on Pocket Now and while you're at it, subscribe to our social media channels to stay up to date. The Galaxy S4 Mini, provided to us by our good friends over at clove.co.uk, is this year's miniature Android flagship from Samsung. It's not a mini per se, as it sports a relatively large 4.3 inch screen and its specs aren't too bad either. As far as the phone's construction is concerned, we could limit ourselves to saying that this is a smaller Galaxy S4. We wouldn't be lying to you since you'll see and feel the same hyperglaze polycarbonate case with the same color options. That plus the design is the same, from front to back and even the box itself. This truly is a mini version of the phone in all respects. Our unit is the white frost version which conceals fingerprints, but if you don't mind having a smudgy phone, the dark flavor is rather appealing. The Galaxy S4 Mini even has the same texture on the plastic as its bigger brother. Let's assume you've never seen a Samsung Galaxy S4, or S3, or Note 2, or Mega, and the list can go on. The Galaxy S4 Mini has an earpiece, sensors, as well as a 1.9 megapixel webcam at the top of the 4.3 inch screen with QHD resolution. Underneath there's the usual home button flanked by the back and menu capacitive keys. The volume rockers reside on the left side, power button on the right side, microphone and micro USB port on the bottom, 3.5mm headphone jack, IR blaster and a secondary mic on the top. The back holds the 8 megapixel shooter with LED flash and the speaker on the bottom. The screen is 4.3 inches in diagonal, which isn't really mini name worthy, but in the context of 5 inch plus phones, we can understand the naming. The resolution, however, is QHD, which is 540 by 960 pixels, and we wish it would have been a 720p screen, but it looks good nonetheless. We won't waste time now telling you about the advantages of a Super AMOLED screen, instead we'll tell you this much, it's good. Powering everything is a 1.7GHz dual-core processor. There's 1.5GB of RAM, 8GB of internal storage expandable via microSD card slot, 8MP main shooter, 1.9MP webcam, Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, and a 1900mAh battery. That's 7.22 Watt hours. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC and even an infrared port are present, and since this review unit we got from clove.co.uk is the GTI 9195, it has LTE radio capabilities. Samsung's latest touch with user interface runs on top of Android 4.2.2. Yes, we know the debate. Some of you like it, some of you don't. It is, however, snappy. Even in the software department, the S4 Mini looks and acts like an S4. Give or take a couple of things, like the missing LED notification settings, since there's no LED light on the device, air view, and air gesture. You won't find S Health as there are no additional sensors, and Samsung tweaked the keyboard of the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini to accommodate the smaller screen. You'll be using a 4 row keyboard on the S4 Mini. Those differences aside, everything is identical, or as close as it gets to the S4, from the quick toggles in the notification shade to the stock wallpapers, widgets, and general user experience. Make sure to check out our full Samsung Galaxy S4 review over at Pocket Now, as well as in the description below, to see the software in action. We've used the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini over the course of a week, and we can tell you this much, we are impressed. This mini phone is snappy. We tried hard to bug it down, but we just couldn't get it to lag or stutter. Of course, some of the applications might launch a hair faster on the Octa-Core Galaxy S4, but they're instant, or almost instant, on the S4 Mini 2. With our regular usage, we got more than a day's worth of battery life out of the 1900mAh pack, which is powering the phone. That means phone calls, text messages, social media on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, taking pictures, browsing the web, instant messaging, Google Maps, YouTube videos, Spotify music, and even workout tracking you will definitely get at least one day's worth of action of the S4 Mini. Interestingly, when we compare the Galaxy S4 Mini with the Galaxy S4, to our eyes, some of the shots generated by its 8 megapixel camera looked a little bit better than the one snapped by the 13 megapixel shooter on the S4. What we're trying to say here is that the camera on this phone is good. Shots are in focus, well balanced, and even low light performance seems to be decent. 
Same can be said about voice and data performance. We experienced no problems at all. Earpiece and speakerphone performance was good, and so did our voice sound over the microphone. But we always want more. We wish it had a 720p display, and we wish it had an LED notification. The phone's vibration is funny, noisy, and the speaker could be a little bit louder. As for the pros, this is definitely a device you want to get if you are not into big phones like the Galaxy S4. You won't be disappointed by its performance. Because of all the aforementioned, we are rating the Galaxy S4 Mini an 8 out of 10, which could have easily been an 8.2. Everyone, this was our full review of the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Anton Dinod. You can follow me on Facebook as well as on Twitter. And if you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time.